right, folks, here we go. Zookfest S2. You know, can't believe it, but uh, here we are. Uh, World War II. And it is Recon. Classic Recon game. Team Leonidas versus Team Jaral. And we are looking here in the north at Leonidas. He's with him, MP, Overdose, and Spy. And in the south, of course, it is Jaral, who has with him Spoon, Xenophon, and Father Xmas. I mean, I would say basically even teams. Uh, maybe Leonidas has the edge on captaining Jarl, a little crazy, little Rambo on that captain. But uh, he's got with him Spoon, Xenophon, and Father Xmas, who are fantastic players. Of course, Leonidas, MP, Overdose, Spy, also excellent players. So again, I kind of, you know, I'm kind of like, well, I want to give to Leonidas here. Maybe the the MP, Overdose, Spy combo might have the edge, but we will see. Now, it is, of course, no unit trading. So as you can see, they've got both cannons, Jarl Toad holding, holding his for his team, and Leonidas holding his for his team. Uh, Spy saying, let's go all planes. Leonidas liking that planes maneuver. Although, apparently, Spy saying he wants to go swamps as well, so not so clear. Jarral wants to have a flank. A strong middle. Interesting. Okay, well, but scout, he means. So we're not so clear what the plan is there. I can see, though, that they are uh, his team, at any rate, is going to go heavy on the swamps. That is Spoon with... Uh, well, Spoon with... Jesus, Spoon with 30%. Yeah, so this is all Spoon uh, for the swamps maneuver. As the planes is underway, and planes is way advanced here, Spy and Overdose uh, came way up. This is kind of a, a dream situation for Overdose. They are able to get in advance there and start putting the heat on the nearly the defense. Xenophon and Father Xmas trying to defend this. As those RPGs go down, this is Leonidas grabbing that pile. Tossing down those RPGs, some damage there to Xenophon. They are falling back with Father Xmas. This is a big retreat. Yeah, they're uh, Father Xmas calling him back as the as uh, Father Xmas comes into support. You can see Father Xmas also though with some units there retreating there. Oh, great RPG from Xmas. He's going to take a bit of a hit in response. These are just huge, R big RPG attacks back and forth. I think, though, that um, Team Leonidas won that one. That's a huge RPG attack from every time. He misses, though. But look how much, look how far back Team Jarl has been pushed on the defense. And so they're going to have a lot of difficulty, uh, you know, defending this. Oh, crazy bounce. Oh, what a crazy bounce taking out Empy. That was Jarl told with that, with that attack. Uh, Empy type cannot believe it. As it looks like Team Leonidas is closing in here. Difficult to be in that water position though. A little worried about every time there. And there's a lot of D here. Xenophon with Gerald Toad. He, they are they are solidly playing the D. Spoon there as well. So Spy is very advanced here and he knows it. He's gonna have to clear out with Overdose. Uh, Spy calling him back. Yep, that's the right call for sure. Uh, since they are tied up right now, but in position to attack if they can develop that pressure, but they want to be very careful about this. Great RPGs there from Overdose. Unfortunately, no contact there. Xenophon coming in with a big pack of infantry. That's a target, I would say. Who he is just, just hounding Empy. But he's leaving, unfortunately, uh, the flag kind of exposed. Now, I don't see a lot besides these guys. I'm not seeing the offense. And they are obviously going to clear out, as we saw. Yeah, there, that was a great uh, cannon attack, I do believe, from our man Leonidas. You have two kills on the cannon. But there is just so much defense here I, for Team Jarral, and I don't think Team Leonidas is going to be able to push this one yet. They obviously need to attrition uh, a little bit before they can develop this. I'm not. I'm surprised Leonidas isn't calling them back. Just some guys made sense. Yeah, he should really be, you know, developing some grip here and uh, telling his team to come to uh, hold back so that they can kind of, you know, concentrate their offense, uh, which he's not doing. And this is definitely going to give Team Jarral a chance to repair and heal up, you know. Now, where is the Jarral offense? We know Jarral is kind of known, and these guys are like, they're known for their kind of Rambo movers. I don't see anything, though. Nothing in the swamps. You know, I see no offense from Team Jarral here. 
So I think they're going, they're very heavy, they're very much on heavy D. Um, which means just that much more that Team Leonidas should be pulling back and uh, developing their, you know, preparing their offense before rushing it. Over those series, and a lot of he's wanting to play this, but I think he's just so outnumbered. He might be able to get Father x here with a bayonet. Yeah, what a fantastic bayonet there, but he's going to lose a unit there to Spoon, and x is going to turn around. Leonidas just tossing in those cannons. Overdose gonna go down here though, yep. Uh, as Spy comes up to support for Team Leonidas. And that is gonna put, but as you can see, Team Leonidas is actually down in percentages. And we got a wild flank from MP. He is way out in the side. Now that's not a bad position to be since this pile is not terribly accessed. So he can pick that stuff up. A uh, spare unit going down there to overdose from Leonidas. And this is going to give MP the ability to, uh, you know, walk up to the flag. But there's a lot of D there, so he's going to have trouble, you know, getting into there to capture it. And as you can see, uh, Father X is re-equipping uh, with Xenophon for Team Jarl. And so that's going to make it extremely difficult for MP on his own to punctuate that. Now, since they've kind of broken contact, again, I would expect, and this is uh, overdose, I would expect him to be scouting so that the can can start waning. You can see those can shots going down here. And they're going to want to throw um, Spy saying Karody. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's playing it. Uh, they are going to want to be showing... Well, this is the bayonet uh, overdose. Whoa, how lucky is that? He's able to extricate himself, I think, because that was another cannon attack. Yeah, Leonidas is amazing. So very, very lucky there for Team Leonidas. Uh, putting them up 50%. And they, if they can take out the cannon that, that Jarl told held cannon, that will seriously give them an advantage. Spoon is disappointed with him, you know, himself on that play. As they come in, spy with uh, spy with two units, they're spreading out. But again, there's so much defense here. Father Xmas with Spoon and Xenophon. I think there's going to be a lot of difficulty for Team Leonidas to take this. You know, if that's the plan. Mind you, I also, I still, yeah, who is spamming, he's spamming from this RPG pot, which is, you know, that's fine and all. He wants to you know, utilize his RPGs, wear them down. But at this point, I'd say maybe he should be getting a little bit more in there. What a great shot on that cannon. I no, I want to say it was the United States, but I don't think it was. At, it might have been Spy with, an, with a grenade there or something. But either way, the cannon was taken out, and that could be decisive. For Team Leonidas. Jarl Toad team is going to be down significantly at this point. They are 100% on the D. Yeah, I never got a beat on the cannon, says Jarl. He was trying to do the counter cannon, which is exactly the right thing to be doing, but unfortunately he just wasn't able to connect. And so uh, at this point now, with such a huge advantage, and that was another great cannon shot from Leonidas, that is going to be four kills. Yeah, absolutely. Four kills there. It is just a matter of weighing this down. And they're going to go for the cannon rush, and I think they're going to take it here. Here we go. Uh, Leonidas himself, so he's uh, playing the cannon and the captain and leading the attack. And they're going to grab that. It is now contested. Xmas going down. I still can't believe they haven't captain Xenophon kind of holding that. But he's killed, and that's going to do it. So uh, Leonidas went down there and Spy with Overdose only grabbing it. What an amazing game. And um, yeah, and what can I say? Uh, a brilliant defensive offensive action where uh, Team Jarl needed to have amazing defense and unfortunately they they just quite weren't able to do it. I could see like there was so much continuous pressure from Team Leonidas, especially MP with those RPG spams and Spy and Leonidas with the cannon and Overdose with the maneuvers that they were just able to overwhelm Team Jarl and he was they were not able to defend that. Um, Xenophon doing what he could uh, a lot of kill, you know, four kills there. Spoon, you know, uh, three kills, doing as much as he could. But these guys, unfortunately, just were not able to hold that down. And what a decisive win for Team Leonidas. A spectacular game. Zookfest, folks, 2021. Get online. Get of Storms. Meta server. This is your chance. Get in these World War II games. The legendary Santa's Head World War II Recon. Team games, guys. This is your chance. So, another great game.